introduced a new program that offers free memberships to teens ages 13 to 17 in an attempt to try and keep them healthy. However, not everyone thinks that's such a good idea. The hashtag Wake Up Weight Watchers began trending due to the fact many people feel like dieting as a teen could lead to inadequate nutrition, and it may promote unhealthy body image, including potential development of eating disorders. So mm. ladies, do you think it's a good idea for Weight Watchers to be open to all ages? Well, they're not open to all, I don't understand why they're targeting teenagers. It's like 13 to 16, mm -hmm. it's a six week program. That was, because at first I was like, oh, you know, maybe, and then I'm like wondering why are they only targeting, um, Teenagers. Well, mm -hmm. they're, I don't know if uh, targeting is one way to look at it, but I see that they're offering a free membership. They're offering a free health access to teenagers who happen to need the help. Mm -hmm. And at the same time today, obesity has tripled since the 1980s within teenagers, tripled. 21% of teenagers are obese today. Um, I was about 20 to 25 pounds over my weight now when I was a teenager, and it didn't matter what society thought, I didn't feel good about myself. And when you don't like your body, yourself, the vehicle that's carrying you, it messes with your mind, it messes with your heart, and it messes with your actions. And I get that, but I don't understand why they have to do it at a so Weight Watchers facility. I think what they should do is start small and go to actual schools because the reason why a lot of teens are obese is because they don't really know how to eat. Growing up in the mm -hmm. projects, I didn't know how to eat. Nobody told me about fruits and vegetables. I just ate whatever was put in front of me. What I would like to see is that people teach more about nutrition yes. in the schools well, at all ages. And I would be... I would be only fine if the program, you know, promoted that. They wouldn't focus so much on dieting, but they would help educate these children how to make healthier choices because I'm with you, Lonnie. Y'all, I used lard until I was like 23 years old. Okay. That's you how I was my chicken. Yeah. I swear to God, I didn't know. My family is from the South. I grew up on mashed potatoes and meatloaf, Stop fried things. chicken, like once a week. Yeah. So I think if they do it in a way where they're educating the children, then it can help them yeah. in the future. Yeah. Make well, wiser decisions, decisions in the things yeah. that yeah. they're doing. Yeah, exactly. Just think that Weight Watchers isn't doing just that. It is a healthy lifestyle. Oprah Winfrey helped herself out through Weight Watchers. DJ Khaled is going through it right now. So I just think um, it is instructing and educating. For me, education for health takes money or time. We all, I think we came from a place where we didn't know the differences yeah. between, for me, government cheese and like healthier, you know, wholesome cheeses today. A real talk. Eating healthy but I, is I very think, expensive, though, actually. I know, but yeah, I, I just want to be clear I know. that That's this wrong. program that they're talking about, if I'm not, if I'm, if I'm not wrong, is about points. And that's not, that's different than healthy eating. And the thing is, is that different cultures have different ways of eating. Yeah. And we need to, we need to understand that. I mean, as African Americans, we do use a lot of lard, um, and, and it and affects our Asians, bodies differently. MSG. Like I said, yep. if you teach me about nutrition first, not the dieting, because I think that's where the mothers are having an issue with, is that it's dieting, and, it should and be you a shouldn't lifestyle. do that. And it should well, be a lifestyle yeah. change. And